So here we are. Um, I'm going to shoot four different guns. They're all iron sight guns, uh, and the, the sight, sights are all pretty much the same, except for the, the one gun's got some factory sights on it. Uh, the rest of them are all my why not sights, which really do matter. Um, I designed them for a purpose, for a reason. Um, I guess I kind of took them for granted a little while. I got a new pistol not too long ago uh, that had Bomar sights on it. Um, so about the same size, like a 115 rear notch and a 115 front, but dude, I shot that gun for a little while. Loved the gun. The sights absolutely annoyed the hell out of me. I was like, dude, the, the, the why notch really does matter. It really does make it easier do the fast, accurate, and easy thing, you know? Uh, anyway, so uh, all, th all the guns have those on there, except for the Staccato XC has uh, the factory fiber optics, which, I don't know, they're okay. Uh, it's kind of a, the notch is not so bad, but the front post is really kind of big and they're kind of tall, you know? Uh, we'll make it happen. We got a Glock 34, uh, we got a Sig P320 full-size gun. Uh, we got a, st a Staccato XC, all right, so that's an iron sight gun, or. It doesn't have a dot on it, so we're just working with the iron sights, but it does have a comp. Then we have a five inch Staccato P, uh, which if you go look on their website, the gun doesn't exist on there. I don't know how many of them they built, not too many of them. Um, man, it is a sweet shooting pistol. They built some great guns. All their guns are really well made, they shoot well. Uh, that five inch Staccato P is one of my favorite pistols I've ever had, okay? Um, so, I'm gonna shoot those, uh, all shooting the same ammo. We've got some precision Delta, 147 grain stuff. Uh, this makes like a 130 power factor, so about 900 feet per second of these guns. Um, not too bad, not to, not horrible recoil impulse. Um, the exercise, I, I say all that, talked about the guns, talked about the ammo. Um, when I go live and shoot this thing, I'm gonna put the camera on a different angle. Uh, I want you to look at the slide movement on all the guns, okay? Um, so we got three different guns, four different guns, really, all right? So a Glock 34, nothing super fancy about it, no comp. Um, all of them are tuned similar recoil spring-wise and everything. Uh, Sig 320, okay, no comp. Um, five inch 2011, okay, no comp five inch basically 2011 with a comp okay all right um let's say look at the slide movement you know um you'll hear people say gun x is flat gun y is flat guns aren't flat they all move okay um recoil mechanics transfer gun to gun okay with with your end state being Sight recovery. That's why we care about recoil mechanics. All right, we want the sights to recover pretty close to where we were looking, pretty quickly with the least amount of effort on our part. Okay. Now, some of these guns, I would say, are softer than others or easier to deal with recoil. But a flat pistol does not exist. Maybe there are flat shooters, and there can be, I think. Uh, but all the guns move. Uh, no matter if, if you look from the side, and it looks like the slides kind of stay in flat. If you looked at it from the back end, you know, from a shooter's view, it is in fact moving. No one can stop a pistol from moving. No pistol exists that has a slide on it, all right, that the slide doesn't move and the sights don't lift when the gun, even, even an open gun, all right? Uh, open guns move less than anything else in, in regards to pistols. Uh, the sights move less. The, you have a dot on an open gun and it's mounted to the frame instead of the slide. So the perceived movement in the sight is less, still not flat, less. Um, they also have compensators and shoot ammo that's specifically designed to create enough gas so that the baffles on the compensator pull the gun back down faster and even sometimes have popple holes on top of the barrels to push the gun down a little bit more and faster. But even at that, all right, the best engineering in equipment and ammo and concept, the slide still moves, <laughs> all right? They aren't flat, no gun's flat, okay? They can be softer or easier, okay? All right, so uh, what we got for an exercise, uh, and I haven't shot, man. Um, I've been focusing on some other things for a little while and uh, I haven't shot in a few weeks, you know? Um, so, uh, so there's that, that's gonna be fun. Um, but I think, I think to a degree, it'd be kind of like riding a bike, you know, maybe this stuff stays, but the exercise, um, we're going to, 
man, we've always got to do some movement. Got to do real size targets, real distances. Got to work target transitions. Let's work some movement. Why not? You know, it's going to be 10 rounds uh, per event, you know, or the events 10 rounds. We'll do it four times. Um, why not? Why not work everything? You know, you could stand here and shoot, you know, bill drills for 10 rounds, all right, or, or something like that, or doubles, or I don't know. You could shoot B8s, you know, or we can get full gamut work. We can make this a compound exercise. I like to do that with any shooting event I set up. They may all be, they'll all be just a little bit different to work, you know, specific parts of the game. Uh, but for the most part, we're going to try to make them as compound as possible with real size targets, real distances, varying distances, um, you know, um, target transitions, movement, body mechanics, gun handling skills. Going to put them all in there. Okay. Uh, so I think what I'm going to start with. Um, I'm not doing a holster right now. I'll do um, loaded starts from the barrel with these. Um, so I'll take the gun from the barrel. This will be my first shooting position for that target. We'll leave that position and then flow through this shooting area and take that longer target. This is about a 10 yard target. Uh, that's about a 15 yard target and we want to kind of flow the body through there so we don't end up static. Um, and then we're going to move into this position on the other side of the stick to take these two closer targets. They're about eight yards um, and then transition into about a 24 yard target. Okay, so we get a little bit of everything in there, a little bit of everything. So there's the talk through on it. I'm going to pause, change the camera angle. And we'll go live. Right. Let's start this thing off. Ooh, I don't know which one. All right, I'll start with the 320. Take a little side picture. I ain't gonna hurt nobody. Find the right magazine for it. Load it. Press checks are free. And that'll be it. Situated there, ready for our start position. What are we gonna do? Get gun, get into shooting position. 10 yard target, I'll flow this position or through this position. 15 yard target, enter that position. Two eight yard targets and a 24 or 80 yard target. It's all in how you tell the story, right? All right, so here we go. All right, that one is empty. 594 for that, okay? Uh, whatever. Let's break it down. Do, 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 do. Sound effects make life easier. So the first shot, 174. Split, 2-9. All right, the next shot, leaving that position, getting a position, getting eyes and sights on that target, 105. A 4-0 split moving. 0.71. All right, getting into this position for the first shot. A 2-3 split. A 2-6 transition, a 2-5 split, a 0.65 transition, and a 0.36 split. Total time, 594. Next gun. All right. We'll go all over the spectrum. Staccato 5-inch. Staccato P 5-inch. Right. Okay. Remember, take a look at slide movement, okay? Um, between the 320... And this gun, this is an easier gun to shoot. You're probably going to see the slide movement about the same. It'll be perceptively, I think that's a word, the same from out there looking at it. Um, and it's the same the way I'm looking at it. I just have to work less to get what I need to see with this gun than that gun. I don't know. So, catch some air. Get the mind right and let's do our thing. All right, pretty decent. Front sight was a little high on one of those shots back there. All right, I'm not even making this up. It was 594, okay? Um, and it's like, no, no kidding, these are the first, first bullets I've shot out of a gun in two or three weeks, okay? Uh, let's see where our first shot was. All right, so first shot was 168. I think last time was 174 or something like that. Uh, 168 for the first get here. First shot, 27 split. Let's talk about what that was. Okay, with that uh, 27 split, the other one was like a 2.9. That's, that's not too much. We won't even talk about that. Uh, 1.13 1 
a little bit slower getting into this position, getting sights on that target, making that shot happen. 0.33 split, a little faster. Gun may have come back down a little faster. Into this position, 0.81. Can't remember where the other one was. 2-2 um, two, two split, a 2-4 transition, 2-3 split, 6-2 